Well, you guys are obviously huge Kiss freaks, so I wanted to ask Shandon. Um, ruined my life. Kiss ruined my life in a good way. Yeah, I, I wanted to ask you, yeah. what is your favorite piece of uh, Kiss memorabilia that you own? Because well, I know you've got some above average stuff. I think. Yes, I, I do, but um, I sold it all. <laughs> I sold it all. I kept the Kiss doll. I kept a couple of things that were close to me, but I got rid of it all. Man, I've purged so much. I feel so good. But let me tell you, let me, let's end on this one. So, you know, the Steelers commercial where the guy, uh, Joe Green gives a little kid, the co, you know, the co in the, the jersey, right? Yeah. That's what happened to me with Ace at the Dynasty show. So let me, let, let, let me just tell a quick story. Okay. Through, through um, how we got to meet Kiss was dad did a, a thing. Um, he knew Neil Bogart. Neil Bogart knew, they knew each other really well. Dad did a, a single called, um, you can go on YouTube, Roll With The Punches, and I'm Not That Cat Anymore. It was on 45 of the blue Casablanca label saying Sir Douglas Quintet. Is that not cool. badass? That's wow. cool. Just in yeah. itself, Casablanca produced by Neil Bogart, Sir Douglas Quintet. Wow, That's yeah. Cool. Okay, it's rare. I've got one left. So we already knew who they were. Or they knew each other. My mom has a secretary voice. She said, you know how it is back then. Somehow called him went, Oh, yes, yeah, Doug Som and his kids. We'd love to come see the Kiss concert tonight. Somehow, she got a hold of Gene's bodyguard. Gene's bodyguard said, totally, come on down. Be at this place at 7 o'clock. Said, Dude, this is so freaky, so I'm going to try and make it as quick as possible. We get down there. How old are you in 79? Eight, nine. Okay. Nine, wow. Nine. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. And uh, Sean was four years older, so he remembers this more. But, um, okay, we get there. Guy lets us in. All of a sudden, about five minutes later, the, the garage door opens up and a big limo comes in. It's Gene and Paul. They walk, they walk without makeup. First of all, this is 79, so I got to meet Kiss with makeup and without makeup. So that's why I learned my life. So they come out, they see Dad, and they're like, hey, Doug, blah, blah, blah. Dude, this is not... This is not a joke. They so take, Gene and Paul walk up to your dad. Hey, Doug, what's up? Whoa, uh, that right there. You could stop right there. That's the yes, best. Maybe not exactly like that, but they okay, knew sure. each other were. Yeah, and okay. It was like a greeting. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Doug. Doug yeah. Uh, oh, no, it was because Gene said they used to play She's About a Mover in his cover band. That's the part of the story I remember. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, they, okay, let me tell you the awesome part. We go into the, to the, to the guitar room. Gene wants to show dad how balanced his guitar is. So he takes the axe bass. Imagine this, Doug Song with an axe bass. <laughs> and he goes, Cowboy he goes, hat, axe bass. He goes, he goes, Doug, put your hands up in the air. And dad put his hands up in the air and it stayed. He goes, see how it's perfectly balanced. He's like, wow, man, what a trip. Okay. Then what happens? We're talking. Boom. Garage door opens again. It's freaking Peter and Ace. In the limo without makeup. Uh, now we knew. Now knowing now that Peter's already gotten fired, and he was just finishing out the tour, right? But we didn't know that back then. He was the one that wasn't nice. I went up to him because I knew all the facts of Kiss. So I went up to him and I go, "Dude, you love Rod Stewart?" He goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Like signing my thing and just get away, because you know he's on coke, right? So he wanted to probably just go score more coke. But did that. I didn't get to see Ace without the makeup, but then check this out. We're hanging out. Paul gives me and Sean a fucking Pepsi. Just like the commercial, man. I'm not fucking kidding. Okay, here comes the, the Mean Joe Green part. He goes, here's a Pepsi. We're going to go in. We got to dress up, hang out, and we'll see you when, when we get back out, right? Okay, so an hour later, come out. All right, they come out. like, And I'm just like, whoa, like. Ace, the guy, dad, because he was my man, dude. And I'm just like, I just, it was like seeing, you know, like a Wizard of Oz, the real deal or something, you know, just like, holy shit. I walked up to him and I said, I love your outfit. What are those? He goes, and when he was drunk, by the way, of course, and eating peanuts, popping peanuts is not that he was swaying as he's here. They say, well, these are rhinestones. And these are broken glass. Okay, here's the awesome part. Talking to him. Lights go out. It's time to go. He turns. 
And just like me and Joe Green, I go, I'm not going anywhere. I'm with Ace. The roadies let me walk with Ace all the way to. So we're in the little hallway, lights go out, and I'm doing this as he's walking. So it's the Mean Joe Green thing, little kid and Ace walking, and I'm just looking up. Man, they need to oh. remake that Pepsi commercial. <laughs> so quick. I'm almost done now. So, uh, and then the roadie, she very gently just, come on, you got to go. And then he went to the side and said, okay, so. He goes on stage. They get, we're on the side of the stage. Ace is fucked up. He throws uh, a, a thing of, of, of a cup of we thought was water, but it, it, he threw it and it hit a cop right in front of us. Oh. And we could smell the vodka. As soon as it broke on him, we could just smell the vodka. And it had a lip ring, a black lip ring. And I tried to grab it and somebody fucking grabbed it right before me. Okay. Then. Ace took off. Oh, you mean the black ice. lipstick? It had yeah. the black lipstick on it. Cup with black lipstick. I could have grabbed it. Somebody grabbed it. He took off his things and threw them to the side of the stage, but he threw one in the audience, and Sean caught the fucking dynasty thing right here. Oh. A, a, a Brody came back and says it's very expensive. He had to give it back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So to very to, to, so to end this all, I had a great time. Um, Dad, being a dad, we're leaving. And he goes, son, because this is how cool, right? Like, I was raised right. But, son, you see that roadie over there? I'm like, yeah. He goes, you thank that guy. He's the reason you got to meet your favorite band. And I go, thank you. And then what happened? Two day, Three days later, I get a fucking letter from Gene Simmons saying it was great meeting you, and I enjoyed it. Shandon Psalm, Spring Forest, Babcock Road. Shandon Psalm, Spring Forest, Gene Simmons. It blew. So didn't you, you didn't wow. you uh, 